Mary and Megan, are their intentions honorable? You want to look into that a little bit? I kind of do. If you like the video, please do like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this is a little tough for me because you may know if you're watching my channel, I am in favor of this couple making a go of it. So uh, let's see what uh, the cards have to say, but uh, we'll talk again for just a second about... So are folks in the UK not uh, wanting Harry to be successful outside of the British monarchy system? Is that what the problem is? Or are they just offended that um, there seems to be so much in the ugly press uh, that, in the, that suggests that he's trying to diss uh, his grandmother. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there. Obviously, I'm an American, and over here in, in the USA, we're saying, go Harry and Meghan, you know, make your own way, make your own money, earn your own keep. And isn't that what the British were always saying, that we don't want another drain, we don't want money? I don't know. So, that's what we've got. So, The Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann wonderful cards they're very beachy they're very now uh the container they come in is really nice it has some nice thoughts inside and um the cards themselves and the guidebook all of this is good the um the guidebook although it's not in color it's readable and uh it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh interpret some of these cards of course you know the interpretation is very personal so you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system. And you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very, uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just, even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh, into the mode of of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some some tarot reading done. So, Light Sears Tarot, really really nice cards. Okay, so Harry and Megan, are their intentions honorable? Harry and Megan, are your intentions? honorable so let's see if we can get past the uh, blame and the guilt and whatever it was that got them uh, you know yanked out of that environment of the royal family which for me seems so toxic with the british um, gossip media <coughs> and as of right now harry and megan are your intentions honorable right now harry and megan are your intentions in fact honorable that's what i want to know okay i'm gonna take six cards one two three four five <coughs> and six are your intentions harry and megan are your intentions honorable Signifier card for that is a page of wands. So pages are plans. This page is a girl, and this tells me that uh, there's a female energy that's pushing uh, this um, this the situation. It has to be made. The challenge to that is judgment. Of course, it is. They're being judged right, left, front, and center, every way that's possible. They're being judged. The base of this reading is the Knight of Swords. For me, this is Harry running with his sword to defend. Okay? And this is how this started. The base of the reading, this is how this started. The path to this reading is the Knight of Cups, and this is just everything um, it, it drenched 
and emotion and just kind of giving yourself up to this plethora of uh, compassion. The sky of this reading, the king of swords, Harry is determined to be the king of this situation. He can't be the king in fact, but he can be the king of his own situation here. Yeah, I think he's wanting to show to flex his muscles in that regard. And then the final uh, likely outcome for the first part of this then is uh, the Queen of Swords and Megan uh, the same, understanding that, yep, the King and the Queen, we can pull this thing off together. That's the separation and the building of wealth. The cause, are your causes honorable? Page of Swords, I get this a lot uh, for for those two. Page, Page of Swords is, this is Megan with her ideas, and she's made it across this precipice on a sword, of, and the swords for me are truth and justice and rules and honor. So that tells me, yes, the uh, environment that that's in is a knight of pentacles, and this is Harry assembling his, his pentacles, assembling his value, fighting for his worth. The likely outcome, or the hopes and the fears, rather, is the hermit, and that's in studying uh, this uh, way forward. Um, you know that they that they do take the correct steps to do this in in the best way possible. Final outcome is the Eight of Swords, feeling restricted, feeling restricted by the situations around you. Um, doesn't necessarily mean you are restricted, but it does impose the frustration of that feeling. So. I think it is honorable. I think it is honorable, but I think it's equal. I think it's equal between wanting to do something uh, uh, honorable and building up their wealth to maintain themselves. Yeah, I think it's a it's a it's a toss up between those two. So that's what the cards say. Let me know if you agree. Are any of you uh, throwing cards on this, or what are your opinions? And uh, although, let's try to keep the comments nice. Let's not try to diss people. Let's just try to put forth our opinions. Okay, let's do that. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.